Did you know that there are over 12,000 homeless people in North Carolina alone? Perhaps you've encountered one in an intersection, holding a cardboard sign asking for help. You'd like to help, but you're not sure how. Hi, my name is Nathan Barrick, and my Citizenship Focus Action Plan provides a solution to this problem. When I was reading Do Hard Things, a book by Alex and Brett Harris, I came across a project started by two teens in Oregon called H2O, Hope to Others. The goal of the project was to provide the homeless with tangible hope. The project consists of filling bags with items necessary for survival in the streets, such as a water bottle, socks, tuna, and snacks. The bags are intended to be carried in the car and passed out to the homeless on the street. One effective measure I utilized was making my project a group effort. My first step was to tell the Forsyth County 4-H'ers about the project through the 4-H newsletter and promoting the project at various co-ops, churches, and 4-H events. My county council eventually adopted H2O as our community service project. Because the H2O program already existed, it was fairly easy to start a branch in my community. With support from H2O, I was able to get the information I needed to jumpstart my effort. The concept of H2O is to sell the bags for $3, which is enough to pay for the content. The money then goes to replenish the supply of bags. However, it's difficult to start the cycle with nothing, and that was the exact position I found myself in. But by raising enough awareness among county council members, we were able to assemble 16 complete kits from donations. Although 16 may sound like a small number, we have received enough donations to be able to keep about 30 bags in stock, with donations on hand if a large event calls for more. The final step was distributing the bags. Distribution went a whole lot slower than planned. The original plan was to distribute the bags by October 2009. It took much longer than that. Even though the bags do sell at a steady rate, we don't usually sell many at one time. Also, the original plan to have 50 Forsyth County 4-H'ers distribute 5 bags each was too demanding. We decided to make our objective simply the distribution of 250 bags. By the end of 2010, we had reached our goal of 250 bags, and in January, the County Council decided to continue H2O as our community service project. I have heard numerous stories of how other people have implemented their own H2O project because of my efforts. H2O recently won the World Citizenship in 4-H Youth Development Award for the Southern Region. Not only has this project helped many homeless, but it has helped me see the need in my community. I encourage you to take your project to your community, follow through with it, and make the best better.